Hey everyone, I'm filming at the Picard Nature Park today. I'm actually going to be filming inside the nature center because it's a, still a bit cold out today. So today's practice is going to be pretty gentle, um, a little bit more intense than the last practice, but if you could handle that, I'm sure you can handle this as well. So go ahead and give yourself some space, get out your mat and whatever other props you might need, and let's get ready to practice. Make your way into a comfortable seated position. Some position to the body where you can sit on the floor comfortably. Maybe crossing the legs. And then take your hands to the crests of the hips and begin to rock the hips left and right. And then come to a point where you're perfectly centered and begin to rock the hips forward and back. And come to a stopping point where the lowest part of the spine, the lumbar, is as vertical as you could possibly make it. And then take your hands, palms facing up, to the top sides of the thighs. And then draw a breath in and lengthen out your spine as much as you can. Take another in breath to roll the shoulders forward and up towards the ears. And as you exhale, drop your shoulders down the back so your chest feels nice and open. Now with your next in breath, press down into the back sides of the hands and see if you can open up the chest any further. As you exhale, soften in the arms, drawing the tailbone under just a little bit here and drawing the occipital ridge, the base of the skull up, just to see if you can find any more length to your spine. And allow your body to soften into this alignment. And take a deep breath in, down into the belly. And let it go through the mouth. Drawing another deep, slow breath in. And letting it go through the mouth. Once more, slow, deep in breath into the belly. And release through the mouth. From here, bringing all of your attention to your breathing. and see if you can allow it to slow down a little bit. Allow it to deepen a little. And then continuing in that direction, slowing down, deepening. Letting your in-breaths drop down into the base of the belly rise up from there. Continuing to build up until you reach the point of what we call Dirga Pranayama. The three-part breath, the complete breath. Drawing breath in from the bottom of the belly all the way up to the throat and exhaling completely. And then once you're breathing in fully and breathing out completely, begin to make a little bit of sound to the breath by restrict restricting the base of the throat so that you can hear the breath coming in and out. layering on a breathing technique we call Ujjayi Pranayama or victory breath also sometimes known as the ocean sounding breath so full breaths in from the bottom of the belly to the top complete breaths out 
layering on this sound, this ujjayi pranayama, and then dropping the hands down onto the ground on either side of the hips. And with your next breath in, let the arms float up all the way up over the head until the fingertips meet at the top of the breath. And as you exhale, letting the hands drop all the way down, fingertips touching the earth at the end of that exhale. Arms flowing with the breath. Next time that you inhale, lifting the arms up, let the back arch, let the chin lift, fingertips still meet up above the head. And as you exhale, drop the hands down to the knees, rounding your back towards the back of the room, chin dropping towards the chest. So there's movement to the spine. As you inhale, belly and chest draw forward, arms sweep up over the head until the fingertips meet. And as you exhale, hands slowly drop down to the knees, back rounds towards the back of the room, chin towards the chest. Front side of the body swelling and opening as you reach the arms up. Exhales, rounding, opening up the back body. Now the next time that you inhale, drawing the arms all the way up over the head, fingertips touch, press the fingertips together, hold the breath in at the top of that breath, completely full, pressing fingertips together, lifting the chin, squeezing the shoulder blades, front of the body open, feeling the hunger for breath begin to build but staying with it and just allowing yourself to observe. Notice the sensations that arise. Notice the desire beginning to build. And when you just can't hold the breath in any longer, release the hands down to the knees, letting the breath out, sitting up tall, and observing watching the sensations fade away. And from here, bring your hands together in front of your chest into prayer position hands, Anjali Mudra. And just take a moment to ask yourself what you might need to get out of this practice today. And allow yourself to build an intention for this practice. And once you have that intention in mind, maybe if you'd like, you can seal it. You can honor your intention with a little bow to the fingertips. Open back up as you bring the chin level with the ground. From here, go ahead and remove anything that you might be sitting on, anything behind you, and roll down onto your back body. Laying flat against the ground. Take a deep breath in and sweep the arms up over the head. Reach through the feet and come into a full body stretch. Saying hello to the whole body. And as you exhale, bring your left knee in towards the chest and give it a deep squeeze in. 
As you draw a breath in, see if you can draw that inhale all the way down into your left hip and feel the tissues of the left hip expand with breath. As you exhale, draw that knee across the body towards the right side, keeping the left shoulder onto the ground, but softening the back body completely. Softening in the glutes and anything between the legs. your next breath and coming back to center reaching the arms over the head reaching through the feet full body stretch once again and as you exhale bring in your right knee in towards the chest squeezing it in and taking a breath in drawing the breath all the way down into the right hip feel the right hip expand with breath and as you exhale take that knee across the body into a twist Keeping your right shoulder onto the ground this time. Softening in the back body, softening in the glutes, softening in the legs. And with your next in breath, coming back to center flat against the ground, sweeping the arms up over the head, full body stretch. And as you exhale, bring both knees in towards the chest, squeeze them in. Pulling the knees in towards the chest, take a deep in breath, down into the, all that compression, down into both hips, feeling them expand. And as you exhale, releasing the soles of the feet down onto the ground. Walking the feet so that they're just underneath the knees and keeping the feet and the knees about hips width distance apart. Place your hands, palms facing down on either side of the hips, fingers pointing away from the head. Take a deep in breath. And as you exhale, press down into the feet and the shoulders, lifting the hips up into the air. And take an in breath, roll one vertebrae down back onto the mat letting the hips be the last to land. And exhale, hips back up into the air. Inhale, rolling the hips, or the back down, one vertebrae at a time. Exhaling, hips back up into the air. <clears throat> and we're going to hold here. With your next in-breath, see if you can draw the sternum any closer towards the chin. Make sure those knees aren't falling apart, letting them stay towards one another. Pressing down into the feet, into the back sides of the arms and the hands. See if with your next in breath, you can pull the belly any higher and don't let the knees splay apart. Breathing steady in and out. One more deep in breath here. And as you exhale, release one vertebrae at a time. Back down onto the ground. Take the feet wide and drop the knees together. And feel, feel the release of the posture. And from here, rolling your way over onto one side and walking yourself around into a tabletop position with your wrists underneath your shoulders, knees underneath the hips. And with your next exhale, drop your hips back towards your heels into a child's pose, that posture of release. But as you inhale, come right back up into tabletop position. As you exhale, press into the feet, press into the hands and shift the hips up into the air into downward facing dog. Take an in breath, bring the knees back down into tabletop. And exhale back into child's pose. In breath, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. 
Inhale, tabletop. And exhale, child's pose. Taking an in-breath back into tabletop position. And exhaling downward facing dog, where we're gonna hold. And pedal out the knees. And pedal out the heels. Shake out the head. Now take a breath in and look up towards the hands. And as you exhale, step your feet forward to meet the hands into a forward fold. You want your feet about hips width distance apart. And for most people, that means maybe you can place the fists together and drop them in between the feet. And for most people, that's roughly hips width distance apart. Take an in-breath, come up about halfway, flatten out the back, draw the shoulders down the back, and as you exhale, deepen into the fold. Take an inhale, come up halfway, flatten out the back, drawing the shoulder blades down the back, and exhale, deepen into the fold. Once again, inhale, coming halfway up, flattening up, and exhaling to deepen into the fold. Draw a little bend to the knees here and inhale, sweep the arms all the way up over the head, interlacing the fingers over the head, but making a steeple. And as you exhale, let the hips sway out towards the right and let your upper body lean to the left. As you inhale, come back to center. And as you exhale, sway the other way. In breath, coming back to center. Exhale, sway the other way. In breath, back to center. And exhale, sway the other way. Take an in breath, come back to center. Exhale, hips go right, upper body leans left. Inhale, back to center. And exhale, sway the other way. Take an in breath, come back to center. And as you exhale, simply drop the hands down to the chest. Find a focal point with the eyes, looking down at the ground somewhere in front of you, something that's not gonna move. And shift your weight into your right foot. Take an in-breath to draw up the left knee. And as you exhale, step that left foot back about one leg's length behind you, landing on the ball mount of that foot, pressing that heel straight back. Take an in-breath to sweep the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, drop the hands down to the chest. Moving with the breath here, inhale, sweep the arms up over the head. And exhale, hands to chest. Inhale, sweep the arms up over the head. And slowly with the exhale, drop the hands down to the chest. Take another in-breath, sweep the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, drop your back heel in and down to make a right angle with the feet. Heels might align, or you might line up heel to arch. Make sure that you're bending in that front knee straight towards the toes, not letting that knee cave in. And your body is opening up to the side. Left hand reaches towards the back of the room, right hand towards the front. Now with your next in-breath, straighten out your front leg, sweep the arms up over the head, fingertips touch. Exhale, sink down, front knee, front hip, going straight towards the toes, arms out to the sides. Inhale, straighten the legs, arms sweep up. <clears throat> and exhale, sink down into that warrior two, knee bending straight towards the toes. With your next in-breath, sweep up, straighten the front leg, and exhale, sink down. Staying in this position with the knee, take an in-breath, bring the hands together in front of your chest. And as you exhale, turn the chest towards the front foot, rotating onto the ball mount to the back foot. As you inhale, lean forward into that front foot. And as you exhale, step the back foot up to meet the front foot. 
take an in breath to sweep the arms up over the head and get long in the spine and exhale to drop the hands down to the chest shifting your weight into the left foot here the inhale of the right knee as you exhale step that foot behind you about a leg's length pressing that back heel straight back Take an in-breath to sweep the arms up over the head. And exhale to float the hands down to the chest. Inhale, floating the arms up with the breath. Exhale, hands down to chest. And again, inhale, sweep the arms up over the head. And exhale, hands down to chest. Draw breath in, sweeping the arms up over the head. And this time as you exhale, drop that back heel in and down to make a right angle with the feet. Right hand reaching towards the back of the room, left hand reaching towards the front. Front knee bending straight towards the toes into that side warrior or warrior two. Take an in breath, sweep the arms up over the head, fingertips meet. And exhale, sink down in the front knee, sinking it straight towards the toes, keeping the back leg straight, arms reach front and back. Inhale, arms float up over the head. Exhale, down into your side warrior. One more time, inhaling to straighten the front leg and sweep the arms up. Exhale to sink down, warrior two, side warrior. Take an in-breath to bring the hands together in front of the chest. As you exhale, turning forward towards that front foot and rotating onto the ball mount to the back. Take an in-breath to shift your weight forward. And exhale to step up. Inhale, floating the arms up over the head. Long spine and exhale, hands to chest. Shift your weight into your right foot. Take an in-breath to drop the left knee. And as you exhale, step back. Take an in-breath to bring the arms up over the head. And this time as you exhale, take your right hand and reach it towards the back of the room. Reach the left hand towards the front, coming into a standing twist. And take an in-breath, come back to center, reaching the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, twist again, reaching the right hand back, left hand forward. Take an in-breath, come to center, sweep the arms up, and exhale into your twist. Now keep the arms reaching out to the sides, and as you inhale, turn your chest around so it's facing the other side of the room. Holding here. Take an in-breath to straighten out your front leg. Turn all ten toes in the same direction, so the toes of the right foot turn to meet the toe the same direction as the left. Take your hands to your hips and draw a deep breath in, lengthening out your spine. Exhale, begin to fold halfway forward at the hips. Take an in breath to find more length to your spine, and as you exhale, deepen into the fold. You can slide the hands down the legs. Maybe the hands come all the way down to the ground. Maybe they don't. If you have some blocks, maybe you place your hands onto the blocks. But the idea here is to let everything go in the upper body. Let the head hang. Let the spine begin to lengthen with gravity. Blood rolling into the head. Now with your next in breath, come up about halfway, taking a little bend to the knees and bringing your hands to your hips. And as you exhale, come all the way upright. Turn your right toes back towards the front of your mat, towards the front of the room, and bend in that front knee. Take an in breath to bring the hands together in front of your chest. And as you exhale, turn towards your front foot, rotating onto the ball mount to the back foot. Take an in-breath to lean forward, and exhale to step up. 
in breath sweep the arms up over the head again getting long in the spine and exhaling hands down to chest shift your weight into your left foot here inhale up the right knee and exhale to step back take an in breath to sweep the arms up and as you exhale reach the left hand towards the back of the room right hand towards the front into a standing twist Inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up. And exhale to twist again. Inhale, back to center, reaching the arms up. And exhale, twisting to the left. Left hand reaching back, right hand reaching forward and holding the arms out. Take your next in breath to turn the chest all the way around. As you exhale, straighten your front leg. Turn all 10 toes in the same direction. So the toes of the left foot meet up with the toes of the right foot in that same direction. Hands go to the hips. Draw a breath in, lengthen out the spine. And as you exhale, coming halfway forward, trying to bend from the hips. And once you're halfway forward, inhale, lengthen out the spine. And exhale, releasing into it as much as you want. Hands can slide down the legs. Again, hands might meet the earth, they might not. They might come down onto some blocks, they may stay up onto the legs. Just be sure to take care of yourself, but also let go. Releasing all the muscle tension in the upper body. Softening the neck, softening the jaw and the face. Your next breath in coming about halfway up taking a bend to the knees drawing your hands to the hips exhale come all the way back upright turn your left toes back forward bend in that left knee straight towards the toes take an in breath to bring the hands together in front of your chest and exhale to turn towards your front foot rotating onto the ball mount to the back in breath leans you forward towards that left foot and exhale to step up. Take an in-breath, sweep the arms up over the head, get long in the spine. And exhale, drop the hands down to the chest. Take your weight into your right foot. Inhale, up the left knee. And exhale to step back. One leg's length, landing on the ball mount to the foot. Take an in-breath, sweep the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, draw the arms down out at the sides like a T, then sending your left arm underneath your right arm like scissors, bending the elbows, turning the fingers up, maybe just grabbing the shoulders here, or maybe you can wrap your forearms and bring your left fingertips to your right palm. You can stay just like this. Or with your next in-breath, you might lift the elbows up into a little bit of a back bend. And as you exhale, you might dip forward, elbows just in front of the inside that front knee. Take an in breath to press into that front foot and rise back up. And as you exhale, you might dip again. In breath, come on back up if you're leaning forward. And exhale to dip if you're gonna dip. Take an in-breath, come all the way back up, unwinding the arms, sweeping the arms up over the head. And as you exhale, drop your hands down to your chest. Take an in-breath to shift your weight forward into that front foot and exhale to step up. Inhale, sweeps the arms up over the head, long in the spine, and exhale, hands to chest. Shift your weight into your left foot. Inhale up the right knee and exhale to step back. In breath brings the arms up, and as you exhale, drawing the arms down to the sides like a T, and then sending the right arm underneath the left like scissors, and then bending at the elbows, turning the fingers up, maybe wrapping the forearms, fingertips to palm, 
and again you can stay just like this or with your next in breath you can lift the elbows up into that little bit of a back bend and exhale drop the elbows down just inside that front knee in breath to come up if you're leaning forward and exhale to dip forward breath coming back up and exhale to lean forward inhale come all the way back up unwind the arms and as you exhale dropping the hands down together in front of your chest and draw breath in to lean forward weight into that front foot and exhale to step up take an in breath here sweep your arms up over that and as you exhale, empty out the lungs and dive forward. <sighs> Take an in-breath, come up halfway and flatten out the back, drawing the shoulder blades down the back. Exhale, deepen into the full. Inhale, coming halfway up, flattening out the back. Exhale, deepening into the full. Inhale, come up halfway, flatten out the back. And exhale, deepen into the fold. Take a bend in the knees if you need to, but plant the hands all the way down onto the earth. Step both feet back into a downward facing dog. Take three deep and steady breaths here. Middle finger pointing straight ahead on both hands. Fingers spreading wide spine is nice and long there may be a bend in the knees or you may stretch the heels down towards the earth and with your next exhale drop your knees all the way down to the ground and make your way into a seated position with the soles of the feet down onto the ground knees pointing up Take your hands to the back sides of the thighs. And with an in-breath, zip up the spine, get nice and long. As you exhale, leaning back, let the feet begin to hover, keeping the back perfectly flat. With your next inhale, if you wish, draw the hands out to the sides. And as you exhale, if you wish, straighten out the legs. Hold and breathe. Breathing steady. And as you exhale, dropping the feet back down onto the earth, inside edges of the feet together. Let the knees drop apart. And then grab onto the ankles or the feet. Take an in breath, zip up the spine, drawing the shoulders up towards the ears. And as you exhale, drop the shoulders down the back. Taking a few rounds of breath here to feel that release. softening in the hips, letting gravity draw the knees down towards the earth. Breath is stabilizing. Now from here, cross your left shin in front of the right shin into an easy cross-legged position, or you can stack your left leg directly on top of the right, so that your left foot is on top of the right knee, and the left knee is on top of the right foot. Take your hands down onto the ground on either side of your hips. Draw a breath into fine length in your spine, flatten out your back, and as you exhale, Keeping the back flat, begin to lean forward. 
Take an in-breath, see if you can lengthen out the spine any further. And keeping that back flat as you exhale, see if you can sink a little deeper. Take another in-breath, see if you can find any more length to your spine. And as you exhale, let go into it. Allow your back to round. Allow the head to hang forward. Drawing the breath deeply into the back body. Fill the back body with breath. Notice any tension you're holding in the feet or the legs. Notice any tension you're holding in the jaw or the back body. Is the breath wanting to become choppy? Is it flowing easily in and out? And with your next in breath, begin to make your way back upright. And switch the cross the legs. Maybe stacking the right shin on top of the left shin, right foot on top of left knee, right knee on top of left foot. Take your hands next to your hips once again and draw an in-breath to find length to your spine. And as you exhale, begin to fold forward with a flat back. This may be subtle. Don't force a thing. Just notice where your body's at right now and be with it. Take another in-breath, see if you can find more length to your spine. And exhale, keeping the back flat, maybe sinking a little deeper forward. Take another in-breath, find some more length of the spine. And as you exhale, release completely into it as much as you want. Head hanging forward, back rounding. Breathing into the back body. any tension you're holding between the shoulders or in the biceps. Notice any tension you're holding in the glutes or the low back. Steady breaths in and out. your way back upright. Drawing the soles of the feet together once again. Softening in the hips. Take your hands onto your feet or your legs. Draw a breath in. Find length to the spine. Drawing the shoulders up towards the ears and exhaling down the back. Flat back as you inhale a little bit more length to the spine. And as you exhale, start to lean forward very gently. As you take another breath in, see if you can lengthen out your spine any further. Keeping the back perfectly flat, see if there's any more space to sink forward. Take another in breath to lengthen out. And as you exhale, allow yourself to round into it. Not trying to take this 110%, maybe only taking this about 60%. And allowing yourself to be okay with that. Noticing where the body wants to hold tension here. Noticing how the body wants to breathe here. At first, just observing and then releasing. Softening the body. Deepening the breath. And with your next in breath, 
begin to make your way back up. Take your hands to the outsides of the knees and bring them back together. And then roll down onto the back body, keeping the soles of the feet down, knees pointing up. Walking the feet back till they're just underneath the knees. Keeping the knees tracking towards one another. Hands out to the sides with the palms facing down. Take an in-breath here. And as you exhale, pressing into the feet, pressing into the hands, pressing into the shoulders, send the hips up into the air, keeping the knees tracking towards one another. Take another in-breath and draw the sternum closer towards the chin. As you exhale, see if you can press down, firm down into the feet anymore, keeping the knees tracking towards one another. Don't let them sway apart. Take an in-breath, see if you can raise the belly even further. Breathe as easy as you can. Breath drawing down into that lifted belly. Just a few more rounds of breath here. With your next in-breath, see if you can draw the hips up any higher, maybe even higher than the knees. Notice what's going in the body. And as you exhale, slowly roll down one vertebrae at a time until the hips land down onto the ground. Walk the inside edges of the feet together and let the knees drop apart. If that feels like too much, you can make some fists and place those fists just around the hip joints as a little break for the legs. Or you can just let the knees sink towards the earth. Notice where the body wants to resist. Breath is deep and easy. back together once again, flattening out against the mat, take an in-breath, sweep the arms up over the head, reach the feet coming into a full body stretch, and as you exhale, bring that left knee in towards the chest just like we started, take an in-breath down into your left hip, and exhale, take the knee across the body, keeping your shoulder down onto the ground. Soften and low back. And take an in-breath. Left leg flat against the ground, arms sweep up over the head. Exhale, drawing the right knee in towards the chest, squeeze it in. Take an in-breath down into that hip. And as you exhale, take the knee across the body into your twist. Notice what can soften. in breath, come back to center, get long, stretching through the fingers, through the feet, 
and exhale, both knees in towards the chest, squeeze them in. Take a deeper in-breath down into both hips. And this time, as you exhale, slide your hands to the outside edges of the feet, turning the soles of the feet up towards the sky. Knees bend towards the left and the right sides of the torso, coming into a happy baby pose and allowing yourself to sway just a little bit. Noticing here if there's any last movements that you feel like your body needs to make. And if you think of something, if the body needs a stretch or another posture, allow yourself to make that stretch, allow yourself to make that posture. and then begin to make your way into a final relaxation posture. Some shape to the body where you can completely let go of everything. Allow yourself any movements that you might need here, any shakeouts, any wiggles. Before releasing completely into that posture. deep breath down into the belly. Release through the mouth. Inhale deeply into the belly, letting it rise up into the chest and all the way to the collarbones. And through the mouth, let it go. One more time, filling up with breath from the bottom of the belly all the way up to the throat. And letting everything go through the mouth. Feel every cell of the body release tension. Letting anything that you're holding on to drain out into the earth. For a little while, see if you can allow yourself to release the thinking mind. Allowing yourself to notice the thoughts that build in the mind, but just having the hand open and letting the thoughts flow by, not gripping. Whatever comes up, whatever arises, just noticing and letting it go. Allowing yourself not to become frustrated with the mind building thoughts. Just observing and letting go. yourself to stay here for as long as you need, as long as you like. Thank you for sharing this practice.